Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Crystal, and I just need to know where my Ugg boot wearing basic bitches are, okay? And listen, I'm not insulting you because I am one of you, okay? If anything, I might be like the chairman of the committee of basic bitches that love a good Starbucks coffee, pair of leggings, Ugg boots, <laughs> okay? So, I mean, I'm drinking coffee right now. Um, and it is Starbucks. It's just bought it at the store. You know how you can get cold brew and the thing. That's not important. That's not where you're here. Okay. So I have seen the trend of the shorty Uggs, the mini Uggs, so hard lately. I have tons of actual Ugg boots. They're all taller. Um, are they the micro minis or are they just minis? I don't know. But you know what I'm talking about, like the ones that are ankle height, the little bitty Uggs. And I feel like the Ugg boot community is kind of, they're kind of split. You either love it or you hate it. I feel like a lot of us ladies are used to the traditional Ugg, you know, maybe not these. These are a little bit bougier. Okay, these have buttons, but we're used to the traditional Ugg. Also, don't judge these. These have been loved for many years. But since I am an Ugg boot connoisseur and I have been wearing Ugg boots since boots with the fur were popular, I remember, well, I, I, my mom, when I was in school, I was in high school or junior high, I can't remember, and everybody was getting Uggs, everybody wanted Uggs. I lived in the South, by the way, none of us needed Uggs, but Everybody was getting Ugg boots. We all needed them. My mom went on a heroic journey throughout the lands to find me a pair of fluffing Ugg boots. And guess what? Christmas morning, baby, I got them. And I thought I was the baddest bitch. That's back in the day when you would wear like a mini skirt and Ugg boots. It is what it is. I don't remember ever doing that. Uh, I've always been modest. Uh, anywho. Back to the boots. I was recently on Walmart's website and I was looking around and I noticed that they had some little, some little Ugg boots. Okay, now I don't know if these, well, these aren't Uggs, these are Ugg dupes, okay? I don't know if the Ugg version is exactly like this as far as like height or whatnot because I haven't physically, excuse me? I haven't physically seen them in person, and quite honestly, I have so many pairs of Uggs, the last thing I want to do is go drop $200 when I can pay $23. They also have this in two other colors. Um, I don't know why I went for burgundy. I think it's because I've never had any Uggs that were this color. I have black, I have gray, I have brown, all that. I've never had any of this color, so... I went with these and we're going to test these out. We're going to, we're going to check them out hardcore and compare them to my Ugg because let's be honest, no matter what, they're going to be made exactly like the newest Uggs are going to be made exactly like the older ones, you know, I've, they all look the same. Most people, I think most men think they're hideous. I don't know why. Maybe that's why us women love them so much because we're like, yeah, okay, we don't wear them for you. <laughs> but let's get the tag off. So like I said, I paid $23 for these, $22.98 to be exact. You can get these online. I will link them down below. Y'all, I'm getting real sick of being able to go inside Walmart and pick up a product and then I get it home and I do a video and I want to link that and I cannot find it on the website. My video, my last Walmart video where I styled an entire look from Walmart, I looked for over an hour for that outfit online and could not find it. And I was in Walmart two days ago and I walked past and they, they have tons of them. They have them in gray and tan on the rack. 
I can't find them online. I don't know if maybe they just weren't online yet. Maybe I need to check again. I have fuzz in my mouth from these boots. Maybe I'll check one more time when I'm linking these. And if they, if the outfit is online, I will go back to that video and link it. Because I just feel like such an ass when I'm like, look at this outfit. Don't you like it? And then you go to the description box and you're like, yeah, I like it. I can't get it though because you didn't link it. I did link two very similar outfits. One for warmer weather and one for cooler weather. Um, that are both like a knit sweater type situation. I did link both of those. Okay, back to these. All right, one thing, we do have some fuzzies coming from inside the boot, but that's okay. All right, first thing I've noticed is the, the lining in this is extremely soft. It is extremely soft. Yeah, it's nice. It's not quite as thick as the inside of an Ugg. This is... Okay, so this isn't quite as soft. This is a little bit more scratchy, a little bit more rough. Not super rough, but if I'm comparing them in softness, this one is definitely softer on the inside, but this one is gonna keep your foot warmer, most likely. There is more padding on the bottom of the shoe and in the toe on the Ugg than this. So a lot of times with Uggs, you need to size up because they're kind of, they run a little small from time to time. Just because there's so much padding on the inside, there's so much fluff in here. Your room, your foot doesn't have as much room, especially if you want to wear socks with them. I don't know how anybody could do that though. Your foot would be sweating buckets. Mine would. There's definitely a lot more room in the toe area of these. So if you're someone that didn't like Uggs because your feet felt suffocated, I don't think they'll feel as suffocated in this. There's definitely a lot of room in there. I got these in a size eight just because I'm pretty sure online it suggested you size up. So I did. Normally I'm a seven and, seven and a half, but all of my Uggs I get eights in. So that's what I got. It looks huge. Look at this. It looks enormous. What are you doing? So I'm impressed. The, oh, I didn't mention. Did I mention this is Time and True brand? These aren't like no boundaries or anything like that. These are Time and True, which, you know, Time and True is a very reliable brand at Walmart. Normally, you get good quality products. I've found that I have two pairs of shoes that I cannot stop wearing that are Time and True that I picked up at Walmart. One of them looks like a fake pair of Vans, and the other one, it kind of looks like a fake pair of Adidas to be honest, and they're both super comfortable. They have like memory foam insoles. This one doesn't. These don't. I don't know why. I'm kind of surprised. Maybe it's the fact that they're, it's fuzzy on the bottom. I don't know. I'm surprised they didn't put memory foam insoles. I'm going to slip this guy on and let you know how it feels on my foot. Okay. Not bad. That's actually not bad. It looks enormous on my foot though. It fits. I don't have like that much extra room in the toe, but it looks huge on my foot. All right, hold on. Do you see this? Do you see it? It looks huge. I look like a cartoon character. Yeah, they look nice though. I don't mind the short, the short boot. I like that because then you throw on leggings and like you can see your whole leg. I don't know. I like the, I like the shorty look. Like I'm into it. I mean, I haven't worn these out. I don't know how they would do in snow. Obviously, if it's too deep, it's gonna go inside your boot. I don't know how these would perform if they got wet. I do know that they are such a low price point. Well, I don't know, $23, it isn't like they're giving them away, but you know what I mean, compared to a pair of authentic Uggs, they're at a way lower price point. They're a fraction of the cost. So you wouldn't have to be as upset if something did happen to them. Huh. There's a tag inside this one that says genuine leather. Are you sure? Do you promise? Why do I feel like this is bullshit? I don't know. Okay, well, 
I don't think this came from a different shoe. It was inside my shoe. These could be genuine leather. We'll never know. Are you sure? There's nothing. Am I being dumb, y'all? There's no, th this is, this isn't leather, is it? I thought these were more of like a, you know what? Y'all forgive me. Uh, my brain is mush lately. I probably sound like an idiot. There are people probably watching this like, oh my gosh, she's so stupid. Are Uggs leather? Hold on. Hold on. Okay. So Ugg boots are sheep. They're made from sheepskin suede and lined with wool. Okay. Obviously, this is not wool. This is like a man-made, like fuzzy situation. I don't know exactly what this is made out of. Um, but I seriously doubt this is sheepskin suede. Um... I'm just going to go out on a limb and say it's probably not considering it's from Walmart. But since I'm here and we are looking up Uggs, I'm going to... No, thank you. So the classic... Why are we in pounds? Can you give me U.S. dollars? Oh. Okay. All right. So I don't like the Ultra Mini. These are... These are more like the classic mini. Apparently, there is a new ultra mini. Those I don't really like. Those look like weird shoes. So, anywho. The classic mini on the UGG website that comes in. Now, that's another thing. It comes in 11 different colors. At Walmart, this is like three different colors. But... The classic mini is $150 and this was $23. So, it, you know, it is what it is. And then, of course, they have the minis that are in many different, like, options. Like, they have the clear mini and they have, like, the the one that has, like, the fur sticking out. Kind of made, like, the, the ones I showed you. Um, they have just, like so many different like styles and stuff but whenever you're getting to like just a a classic mini this that's what this is honestly though looking at the classic mini on the ugg website compared to this this one almost looks like it's between the ultra mini and the classic mini so if you if you want to go for a nice little happy medium I'm not going to lie, this clip thing really destroyed this one right here. Hopefully that, like, flattens out. But I give it a stamp of approval. I still have the other one on my foot. It feels all right. I mean, does it feel like I'm wearing a $200 shoe? No. It, wear, it feels like I'm wearing a $30 shoe. But they're cute. They're comfortable. They're roomy. My foot doesn't feel suffocated in it. So, if you're wanting a cheaper alternative, this is definitely it. Go pick it up. I give it, I give it a solid, I'm going to give it a solid 9 out of 10 just because, I mean, the quality obviously isn't, isn't Ugg boot quality. I've had my Ugg boots, the, the pair I showed you at the beginning of the video, I've had them for like three or four years. They're still going strong. In three or four years, these will be garbage. So, it, it you know, it's kind of like this. You either pay the big bucks and you get something that will last forever or you get something that will last for the moment and hopefully it lasts as long as possible for you. Anyways, I hope this video was a little informative. You know, like I said, 9 out of 10 for these. I recommend go pick up some. You can go try them on in store, you know. Anyways. I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. And I will see you next time. Bye.